Hello everyone and welcome in this new video. Today we will discuss about OSPF adjacencies issues in Junos and how to troubleshoot them effectively. So the first question you may ask yourself is why can't my routers form this OSPF adjacency? And usually this is because the two devices don't agree on the term to create it. There might be different reasons for this disagreement and this is what we're going to cover now. One of the possible reasons is a mismatch at the area level or area type. So you might have different area number on both sides or just different type. For instance, one might be set as a normal area while the other is set up as a stub area. It can also be a mismatch with your LO and dead intervals. If the value are different on both sides, the adjacency will not come up. Finally, it can also be a problem at the interface level. Both sides need to have the same type and same MTU. Otherwise, you won't have a full adjacency. So how do we spot and fix this problem? As usual, I'm gonna have a lab with two router. Router one, which is set up in the area zero with an LO interval of 10, dead interval of 40, and an MTU of 1500. Router two, on the other hand, is set up in a different area, area number one. The yellow interval and dead interval are also different. I'm going to use 20 and 80. And the MTU is set up with 1450. Now let's get to the radar console and see what we can do. Radar 1 is on the left and radar 2 is on the right. If I check the configuration on radar 1, I can see my backbone OSPF area with the interface 001. The yellow interval is 10 and dead interval is 40 as described in the previous slide. Now let's review the adjacency with a show OSPF enable. And it's empty. So apparently it didn't come up. To make sure I receive the OSPF message from my enable, I'm going to monitor the traffic on this gig o slash o slash one. And for this, I'm going to use a monitor traffic with the name of my interface, followed by extensive. In this output, we can see an incoming OSPF packet. And if we look closely, we'll be able to see a couple of mismatch at different level. First of all, the hello timer interval on the remote side is 20 when I'm using 10. The dead interval is 80 when I'm using 40. And finally, the area is 0001 when I'm using the backbone area 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 so I'm going to fix this locally in router one configuration and see if it make any difference. Now that I've changed my interval value, let's review the OSPF adjacency status. And this is much better. We are now in the exchange state, but still don't have a full adjacency. To keep going with my investigation, I'm going to do a debug on router 2 at the OSPF level. For this, I'm going to use the trace option knob. At this level, there are two things we need to define. The first one is the file where we want to save the debug output. Next, I need to define what I want to debug. And for this, I need to use two flags. The first one is event and the second one is errors. Meaning that I want to trace every single OSPF event between the two neighbors and also be able to spot any errors that could occur. I will now monitor this debug file and see what I can find. So based on this debug message, we have an MTU mismatch between router 1 and router 2. So that might explain why the adjacency doesn't come up. Let's review the interface MTU on both sides. So the MTU is indeed different. Let's try to override the value on router 2 and make it equal to router 1.
Let's see if it solves our problem by reviewing the OSPF adjacency state now. And it did. Well done. Hopefully you learned something with this video. Thanks for watching and let me know if you'd like to see more content like this one on my channel.